Welcome to this latest video from Tapered Plus. Joining me are Aman Chahal and Rob Vass, and we're going to be talking about Tapered Plus's new innovation, Rock Deck. So reducing the use of combustible materials is a major issue for construction and property sectors, and Tapered Plus is making a contribution with this new technology. So Aman, turning to you first, what is Rock Deck and why did you develop it? Yeah, essentially, Jamie, um, there was a problem in the UK market in the fact that combustible materials is on the rise, um, driven primarily by legislation. Um, so we partner extensively with Rockwell Insulation within the UK market, and we wanted to create a system which was we were able to use with pedestals and create that issue and resolve that issue with point loading. Okay, so just explain quickly what, what does that mean in terms of that? Is that allowing you to put something up on a roof that can be walked on or that can have things resting on it? Totally correct. Um, it allows us to put pedestals on a roof to allow edge protection and it resolves problems with trafficking, etc. Just increases that whole, whole overall robustness of that roof. Okay, well, Rob, that's a good point to lead into. Break it down for us. Mm -hmm. Tell us what, what it is. We've got some in front of us here. Sure. Be able to see some. What does it actually do? So the product that's at the bottom isn't new to the market. It's a product called Rockwell um, Hard Rock, and it's uh, dual density, so it's softer on the underside and tougher on the top, so that makes the dual density. It is best in class when it comes to the compressor strength of just this product, but it has its limitations. So we introduced this layer that we call Rock Deck Coverboard. It's again non-combustible, the same as the product underneath, and it just adds that spreader layer that it can take a real point load. And we've tested these products together with a diameter of about 80 millimeters. So like the top one pushing down, this one's about 170 millimeters in diameter, and it just provides a really good spread load surface. The waterproofing for the building would actually go in between. Um, that's okay. exempt from a lot of parts mm -hmm. of the regulations, so that can be combustible. But these parts here and this here creates a non-combustible insulation system. So it makes it, yeah, also a very robust system as well. Correct. So non-combustible and strong. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is, is that what sets it apart as well, in the fact that it can be that strong in, in load-bearing? Yeah, it is strong in load-bearing. And, I mean, products can be strong, but what's lacking out there is the data to prove it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've put this system through, is rigorous testing, to BSEN 1606 to test it how it's going to perform in the long term under compressive load under such point loads such as pavement slabs. So how, how have you tested it? In, in what environments have you tested it? Obviously starting off with small to, to, to large scale testing I'm assuming? Sure I mean the, the initial stage of the testing is just seeing what it can actually take in one load to see mm -hmm. when the product fails and it was uh, performing a lot better than we, we thought it would. So then that's when we moved into the long term compression tests and we've put it into a 10 year cycle of what it will look like in 10 years. And we're currently in testing up to 25 years just to see how that will perform. Oh, fantastic. So how was the, the reaction you've had from, uh, from Rockwell really? You've taken one of their innovations and, and enhanced it. How, how have they uh, reacted to it? Yeah, it was a, we had a fantastic response from Rockwell um, as we helped solve an issue within the, within the marketplace. Um, any way that we as a company can drive innovation forward and support our partners in trying to achieve what they're trying to achieve as well within market share um, is always greatly received. Excellent. And just coming back to you, Rob, you were mm -hmm. talking before about the, and the testing. Mm -hmm. One of the elements that gives people peace of mind is obviously the accreditations it can achieve. Mm -hmm. What's been achieved? What's the targets for, for this product? So as mentioned, Jamie, um, it's been tested to be SEN 1606 for compressive creep over time. Also with regards to the fire rating, both products, the Rockneck Coverboard and the Rockwall, are classed as non-combustible when it comes to the European classification system. And the most important thing is that it adds strength to uh, the top of a building so you can walk on it safely, you can uh, obviously put equipment up there. Definitely, yeah. The, um, the problem is over time, products such as stone wool have a chance to compress over time. With the coverboard in the way, it makes it a lot more tougher. So you can use it as a terrace, you can use it as a balcony, you can use it for plant areas um, with spread loads. Um, yeah, and general maintenance traffic as well, it makes it a lot better for that use. So it sounds like something that the industry really is looking for. Have you had any positive reactions so far? Yeah, we've um, the, the reaction has been fantastic, Jamie. We've had um, got an extensive pipeline now for this product going out in the market and we've actually installed it on several uh, prestigious projects and it's great to see it in situ. And if you want to find out more about Rock Deck, then visit the Taper Plus website or get in contact with the company.